better prognosis with the suggested treatment. I give uh, the first floor to uh, academician Evgeny Imanitov. Good afternoon. And uh, we have a very reasonable understanding of a tumor as the increase of uh, cellular mass and uncontrollable cellular accumulation. In fact, it's a simplified understanding, but uh, it does not always align with biological factors. For tissues to form extra tissue, a number of events should take place. Here you can see the list of biological aspects that produce uh, extra tissues and almost all of these events have uh, mutation as the reason. It turns out that uh, this number of uh, mutation uh, is an uh, absolutely unlikely uh, coincidence. The only reason that can explain that is uh, genome instability. That means that the speed of uh, acceleration, the tumor acceleration is much higher compared to healthy uh, cells. And that's the target for cytostatic therapy. Look, uh, cytostatic uh, drugs are non-specific uh, treatment. Why do they have this therapeutic uh, window? Because all existing cytostatic uh, and some target uh, drugs lead to DNA uh, damage. Normal cells have normal uh, reparation uh, reserves. They can uh, repair itself after a damage. Tumor cells have lost some reparation elements of DNA. That's why they cannot uh, handle this uh, damage and uh, they have suicidal mechanism. If a cell accumulated uh, a lot of uh, chemical uh, disorders, it uh, launches a uh, self-destructive mechanism. It's a normal phenomenon. Even uh, professionals uh, mix up the uh, mutation and the DNA damage. DNA consists of nucleotides, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and timine. If the structure of uh, a nucleotide gets damaged, that's exactly a chemical damage. For example, we have oxaguanine instead of guanine. It's not a normal thing. Those uh, nucleotides should die. If we have the uh, ruptures of uh, DNA, it's also the distortion of its chemical structure. And they should uh, be removed by DNA reparation element. If this um, Elimination doesn't take place, that how the elimination builds up. It's a functional event. When the protein function changes, mutation is the ultimate outcome. It, they cannot be recognized by DNA reparation element. Those elements fail with that. So, with any tumor, we have DNA reparation element, hence accumulation of uh, cells and formation of tumor. Almost 400 uh, ferments participate in DNA reparation, but they have different cascades and different modules. Certain systems work with uh, one thread DNA, one uh, thread ruptures. Other fermentative modules remove uh, double thread ruptures. Other modules uh, get rid of uh, paraformations and so on. Now we know certain uh, modules that can be characterized with uh, uh, similar disorders. For example, with Lynch syndrome, we have the uh, dysfunction of non-paired uh, formation reparation disorder. There's an big accumulation of uh, disorders and they become uh, 
uh, oncogenic. Other tumors, like some uh, heroic uh, breast tumors, cannot repair the rupture of uh, a double thread. And for this group, we need PAR inhibitors and specific drugs that work for them. Naturally, when we talk about the BRK-associated drugs, uh, normally we talk about heroic uh, tumors, but uh, not necessarily. There are tumors that uh, develop like sporadic tumors and also have selective drug sensitivity. BRK1, BRK, BRCA2 participate in the cell restoration after two-thread uh, DNA rupture. How can we remove that? Nature had, uh, has a great tool for that. We have genes both from mom and dad. So it turns out that we always have a reserve copy that we can use as a ma matrix. Due to the complex protein interaction, the idea of this reparation mechanism is the use of the uh, second uh, gene copy to balance the damage. So BRCA-associated tumors have a treatment um, a window. Normal tumors keep the functional uh, components of uh, DNA reparation system, then tumor cells are produced by a somatic uh, mutation in, uh, say, a breast uh, cell or other cells where we have inactivation of the second uh, BRCA allele and hence the loss of reparation system due to the homologic uh, reaction and the loss of ability to restore itself after two-thread DNA rupture. This selectiveness is the reason why BRCA deficit uh, tumors are normally inherited tumors. Some people say that this is the type of uh, sporadic uh, humor. Those associated with BRCA deficit, they show unprecedented sensitivity to platinum containing uh, medication metamycin C and PAR inhibitors. PAR inhibitors uh, were made as target uh, drugs they are based on the concept of uh, selective BRCA deficit. And with great pleasure, I show you the first pictures with the BRCA inhibitor. Uh, she has BRCA2 mutation. Look at this effect of uh, PAR inhibitor effect. After two weeks, we have a full elimination of metabolic response. Why? Because we have the target. In fact, why do we choose the PARP ferment as a target? Because normally it participates in uh, reparation of a DNA by elimination of DNA foundation, <coughs> by the damaged part of the foundation. The idea of this reparation is that when you have a um, damaged DNA foundation, then uh, it is removed and you have a one-thread rupture. It's a perfectly okay uh, process when uh, a damaged DNA base, DNA foundation uh, gets removed. If a cell gives a PARP uh, inhibitor ferment, then this one-thread ruptures will accumulate because a cell won't be able to restore itself after one-time DNA, one-thread DNA rupture. Second, how does a cell restore one-thread DNA rupture? They unconverted into two-thread ruptures and it's very harmful for uh, associated BRCA associated uh, tumors. 
those cells uh, where, uh, which have BRCA1 mutation, they have the so-called synthetic um, mutation. When we have the uh, double the BRCA defect, it's a lethal factor, hence the notion of synthetic lethality. For those, we have uh, the PAR inhibitor tumor cells that have both BRCA and PAR deficit have uh, complicated uh, coupled effect. That's exactly what we call the synthetic lethality. We have the uh, uh, damage on both sides and the cell cannot survive like this. Anyway, currently we have two PAR inhibitors. Those are par parallel inhibitors, including uh, specific uh, PARP inhibitor and uh, as the result uh, tumor cells with BRCA uh, uh, patients uh, die whereas normal cells uh, can tolerate them uh, effectively. Once again that's the animated chart that shows the stages of this process. So we have one thread the DNA rupture, then they are converted to double thread uh, ruptures, then in norm can be uh, restored uh, under the influence of uh, disruptive agents. If we have a coupled disorder, then a cell cannot restore after two thread ruptures and uh, BRCA deficit uh, uh, cells uh, show the selective uh, sensitivity to PARP inhibitors. Once again, this chart uh, shows the selectiveness of uh, PARP inhibitors effect on the BRCA deficit uh, cells. Thank you for your attention.